Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products. We're powering jets with sugar, making magic boxes for dancers, creating hand manipulators, and driving 186 miles per hour in the fastest electric race car in the world. The Autonomous Robotic Manipulation Program, or ARM, has been creating manipulators with a high degree of autonomy and tactile ability. The program has designed and built hand mechanisms that could replace the claw-like limbs currently used on robots with hands incorporating three to four fingers and usable palms. The program has managed to create hands that can be manufactured for as little as three grand, which is some $47,000 less than the cost of current technology. What's really profound is the ability of these hands to incorporate sufficient dexterity to enable manipulation of objects in their fingers. I don't think just the term dexterity is sufficient. Way more than dexterity, these things are robust. And now, more than ever, machines will be able to operate machines. seems like there might be a social issue emerging here. At least the machines don't know how to insult us yet. Wait, did it just... What finger was that? Oh, I see what you're doing there. Good job, DARPA. Nissan has unveiled its ZEOD RC electric racing car, providing an innovative testbed for electric technologies. According to Nissan, the ZEOD RC, which stands for Zero Emission On Demand Racing Car, will reach speeds of more than 186 miles per hour, making it the world's fastest electric car. The car will contain the same lithium battery technology used in the Nissan LEAF. Multiple electric drivetrain technologies will be tested before the car makes its racing debut at the Le Mans 24 Uhr. According to Andy Palmer, Executive Vice President at Nissan Motor, a zero emission on-demand option where the driver can switch between electric and petrol powered drive is a future direction for road users, so that will be tested in addition to pure electric power and other new technologies that the company still has under development. This type of car sort of makes Elon's Tesla Roadster look like a Pinto. Ooh, and the gloves are off. This one's for Larry, who wanted to see more news on biofuels. Hi, Hi Larry. Larry. Though this story is an algae-based, it's still powering jets. Amiris, a renewable products company, and Total, a French multinational integrated oil and gas company, one of the six super major oil companies in the world, successfully demonstrated a renewable jet fuel at the Paris Air Show. An Airbus A321 aircraft powered by two Snecma CFM56 jet engines flew from Toulouse to Paris with a blend of renewable jet fuel produced by the two companies. The air transport sector has an ambitious target drastically reducing its greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, said one member of the executive committee of Total. Amiris has developed genetic engineering technologies that enable modification of the way microbes process sugar. Now that the technology is proven, Amiris and Total are committed to a joint venture in renewable diesel and jet fuel that will include commercial scale facilities. The remaining big question is the sourcing of sustainable, available, reliable, affordable tonnages of sugar. Forget about the oil in the Middle East. Now the wars are going to be between you and your kids over candy. Mr. and Mrs. Dream is a virtual project in an immersive unreality born out of the mind of Eugene Ionesco. The project is the brainchild of a pair of dancers who partnered with the members of the Passion for Innovation program at Dassault Systems. The Passion for Innovation teams create the magical box where the virtual world unfolds on stage. The magic box is a reproduction of a virtual reality room Dassault traditionally installs in the industrial world for testing diverse scenarios. Environments such as the interior of a new airplane or automobile before taking the products into the real world. Not performances that get you all caught up in a lyrical dance movement. 
The 3D world is projected in real time by software that handles the display on the four surfaces, the three walls and the ground. It gives the impression that the dancers are completely immersed in the virtual world and creates a work of art that evokes nuances of feeling and provokes emotional responses. Six projectors are used to cover the 180 square meters that make up the box, and the entire set can be adapted to fit each of the theaters on the tour, even though every auditorium has a different configuration. Luckily, we were able to get our hands on a few panels to create our own immersive reality. Get over here! Excellent. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For pd and TV, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Fight! Get over here!